This is Carter, cyber security engineer. Good morning. I went to school for animation and I discovered that I really wasn't that good of an artist. <laughs> oh, is that funny? <laughs> no. But that's totally fine. I found another skill and that skill was computers. I worked for the Geek Squad. Then I was the systems administrator for a company. All of those things were critical to my life. So let's get to the Google Career Certificates. What part did that play and where you are today. I still go back to the concepts that I learned basically every single day. When did you get it? I, I think I got it like two-ish years ago. I did it very, very slowly. I went back and I rewatched those videos several times over until yeah. the information really started sticking. Would you say it helped you kind of have like a bargaining tool to like get paid more? I mean, it, it did. My first help desk job was at the Geek Squad and I used it to leverage part-time to full-time and a small raise, if I remember correctly. I'm a business analyst for Spectrum Enterprise I help take all that confusing big data mm -hmm. and just kind of transform it into actionable insights. Oh, that's really cool. It really helped me launch my career and that's like a big part of the reason why I'm here now. How long did it take you to complete it? It took me about three months actually. What? So after I completed the certificate, within a month, I was able to get my first job. Before, when I was taking the certificate, mm -hmm. I was living at home, didn't really know what I was going to do. Oh. And then, you know, once I finished the certificate, I ended up getting a job, get my own place. You know, now I'm, I have a clear vision of what I want to do in the future, in the next five years. I feel like my life changed pretty much. How did you get a job after getting the certificate? So there's like eight courses in that certificate program. Yeah. So anytime I'd pass the course, I would post it on my social media and, you know, eventually help me to meet people and get the job that I have. I was working. I was definitely working hard. I just remember that time in my life just being disciplined and focused. And yeah, I knew that nothing could stop me. Hello. Hi, Ariel. Yes. I'm Aaron. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. All right, so what are we doing today? I am an instructional designer. Meaning that you teach design? No, not exactly. No. So instructional design is a person who is a designer and helps okay. design learning platforms. So a part of my job is designing the platform that teaches our employees. Oh. If there's a new phone or a new update, we have to teach our employees how to utilize software. It might be repairing these phones. Oh, so you design the course that they're teaching. Yes. You help teach the people who help teach the, the people. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's great. That yes. makes sense. Yes. I was looking for a better work-life balance. I found out about these Google certificate programs. Cool. And the one that jumped out to me the most was the UX design course, yeah. So this is Cardi. Cardi, <laughs> you're the reason I'm sitting in the back. So where are we going? We are heading to my office, Logic Source. Essentially, I am the bridge between Logic Source and the client. Okay. So we learn more about their problems in procurement. If you need a definition for that, I'll give it to you. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> See, you can read me. It's good. For instance, let's say the bag that you use when you're like, oh, do you want a bag for your purchase? Yeah. We'll see how much you're spending per bag. And then we'll come in and we'll say, hey, we can find it for X amount cheaper. We can drive those savings and create a new supplier for you to utilize moving forward. Oh, so you're brought in to help make things more efficient. Correct. I need exactly. one of you in my life. <laughs> so I got it a few years back, and it took about two to three months to, to finish. Wow, you did that fast. I actually downloaded the mobile app on my phone, and I would watch it on my way to and from the city when I was working at my previous job. So that's why I really love the flexibility of it. It's definitely made me more confident, and definitely I'm way more passionate about the work that I do. Initially, when I graduated out of college, I was in accounting. Yeah. And I just couldn't see myself doing that long term. Jenna! Hi. I'm Aaron. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to see I like your outfit. Thank it's, you. It's um, different. We're biking to work today. We're biking to work today. We wear many hats. So I'm project managing, also helping out with social media, helping plan events we've thrown before. So the client comes to us with an idea, and we take that idea and we find creative solutions for them. And that's when we'll hire folks from outside the office to come in and work with us. So whenever we're working on creative, we want the client to review it. So I'm the person sending over the creative and sending back notes to my team saying, okay, they liked this part of it, but we'd really like to explore it this other part in a different way. Position. If I kind of just went into full panic mode and wondered, 
what the next steps were. I actually found the Google Career Certificate program and realized that you know, this is a very accessible thing that I can do. I can afford it while being unemployed and be able to, you know, make a next step in my career that makes sense for me if I just need the tools in order to move forward. So I was actually doing the certificate and applying to jobs at the same time. So it took me about a year. Oh, and yeah. how long after that until you got your job at Friendly City? Just a couple of months, actually. My boss reached out to me via email because he noticed on my website that I'm a project manager. Also, have the project management certificate. And he really sold me on the idea of Friendly City and the way it utilizes local creatives in order to work on projects together. That is really cool. Being a project manager means that you also have to be an empath and be able to connect with people and make sure that they're doing okay. Because you can't just keep pushing your, your team to limits and to the impossible. It's about managing those relationships and finding ways to work together the most efficiently. I'm originally from uh, Toronto, Ontario. Moved to Minnesota when I was about 10 years old or so. Is mindful care here? Mindful care is, is not here. It's mostly east of me. While I'm in Minnesota, I, I just work remotely. What yeah. drew you into wanting to be a UX designer? You know, I really was introduced to the idea of UX design in a previous role, doing mm -hmm. digital marketing. I ended up stumbling upon the Google Career Certificates uh, program specifically for UX. Oh, that's um, cool. You know, after taking the course, it, it really kind of helped me validate my ideas about UX design and, you know, really ignited the passion in me to, to go ahead and do that and apply for jobs. Do you yeah. find yourself going back to the course? I do. I have some notes. I have some projects that I kind of kept on hand. A lot of my portfolio was actually developed during the course. So you got your Google Career Certificate. How did that help you get hired? I think the foundation of knowledge just through the course that I learned, mm -hmm. terminology and process and things like that was really what helped me get hired. So what kind of UX designer are you? I am a UX UI designer. User experience and user interface. Yeah. OK, what's the difference? <laughs> UX design is designing for the user experience as a mm -hmm. whole. So it's yeah. kind of like all encompassing. And then the UI is more of an emphasis on designing the interfaces, screens. Julian! Oh my god. Hey! Hey, hey man. Give me a hug. Okay, we're hugging. Nice to meet you, man. Nice Welcome to, meet to you. USB Memory Direct. Thank you for having me. Of course. I'm a digital marketer. Okay. So what that consists of is generating leads and increasing brand awareness for the company through different digital channels. So okay. that could be a website, that could be social media or email marketing. Yes. And marketing content can be anything you see online, essentially, any image. Any videos, videos, vlogs, the, of course, all of that. Am I marketing content? <laughs> and then I use analytics to see what our weaknesses are and creating different strategies to improve on those channels. When did you get your uh, Google Career Certificate? About eight months ago. Oh, so like right before you started working here? Yeah, because that's actually what helped me really get into this field and get really? a job. I had been applying for eight months before I got my certificate. Um, and then as soon as I got it, I was getting second round interviews, third round interviews, like a ton more. And it only took me two months. You knocked it out in two months? Yeah. I grew up here wow. in Northern Idaho. Huh. So very different terrain, but still very beautiful. So you're a full-time student? Yes. But you also have a job. I do. So I work for John Deere full-time in the summer and then part-time when I'm a student. Was there like a moment where you were like, oh, I really love this? I've always had an interest in it. Mm -hmm. And then the more I know about this, the more yeah. secure I am that this is what I want to do. I get that. So oh, wait, how did John Deere come into the picture? Like, was that after your Google Career Certificates or? Uh, yeah, it was a couple months after I found a link in like <laughs> part-time position at John Deere and I was like, Deal. So they hired you because you had this Google Career Certificate in Data Analytics. Mm -hmm. If you didn't know, I love tractors. No, I, I jumped on that just a little bit. Can you hook me up with a tractor? Actually, I can. Oh my gosh. So wait, what is your job title at John Deere? Reporting and Analytics. Wow, official. <laughs> okay, Thank so what you. does that mean? What do you do? I can't go into specifics. Okay. So but yeah. they give my team some mm -hmm. like business objectives, and then okay. we mine through data, like analyze data. And then we go from there into creating graphs so that we can take all of this sometimes right confusing code yeah. and turning it into something that's easily digestible. For me. For you. For yeah. yeah. Do you get to work with tractors? No. No.